who join me up at Hayton Lakes up near Doncaster, well away from my normal Norfolk haunts. But I've popped up here just to meet up with a few of the Nutribates team to do a bit of filming with them, get some footage uh, for their social media. So uh, I've got the rods out now, hopefully going to be able to fish the evenings when I'm not around filming. So you never know your luck. I don't know anything about this complex whatsoever. We've got the specimen lake booked to ourselves. Um, but I think there's about 40, 50 fish in here, something like that. It's only three or four acres. It's not a massive lake, but uh, solid full of weed in a lot of the places. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. Say so I've not really got a lot to tell you about the lake because I don't know too much. I've had a bit of a lead around in this swim. Um, I'm up at the top end. I think I'm pegged 12 for the science snapped, but I think it's about that. Uh, I've decided to have a couple of rods just the side of the marginal weed beds, um, one either side of the swim into the margins. Uh, I'm fishing solid bags, nothing too complicated, which I'll, I might go into a bit of detail a bit more about some of the setup that I'm using this uh, session later on. Um, but yeah, yeah, it'd be interesting. I think they're pretty big, some of the fish in here. I think there's quite a few over 30 pounds. Uh, I think the biggest is getting over 40 now in here, so. Yeah, should be should be good fun. Hopefully we'll have a few fish to show you, um, maybe from some of the other boys as well, depending on uh, what we need for their social media, and hopefully a few fish, but the weather's uh, it's pretty crazy. Um, we're now in, yeah, what are we, mid-October, and well, I'm in a t-shirt now, and it's getting into the evening, and it's been bright sunshine here today, so not ideal fishing conditions, but you never know your luck. Fingers crossed for one of the whackers, and we'll talk to you later on. So here we go, just had this lovely 27 pound mirror caught on really simple solid bag tactics. It's a really nice looking fish from Hayton Lakes, has never been here before. Um, just flicked out some solid bags and a little bit of bait around them and uh, what a result on the first morning. So let's see if we can lift her up for you, she's quite lively. Got her head in some weed and came in fairly simply. Ah, there we go, how about that? Lovely way to start the morning. Solid bags really do come into their own heading into this time of year. So we're gonna take a bit of a look at what I put into my solid bags. This one came on a little Techni Spice pop-up from Nutribates, topped with some white maggots. So I'll spin it around and have a look at the other side. Oh, I'd start seeing some fish show over near this area, so fingers crossed it's not the uh, last one. Yeah, made up. First fish from a new lake's always a result. So lively. Properly buried its head into the weed and came in so easily, but now it's beating me up for it. <laughs> oh. There we go, how about that? Lovely looking fish. Super simple, solid bags, doing it once again. It really is a devastating tactic at the right time of year. Right, so I'll slip this one back and go into a bit of detail about what I used. All right, so I just slipped that fish back and uh, what a result to get a nice mid 20 on the first fish from a new lake, especially as it's been quite hard going. We've managed a couple of fish out around the lake between us now, but um, that's the biggest one out so far, which is a bit of a result. Hopefully uh, managed to come across one of the even bigger ones in a little while, but yeah, it's um, a bit of an odd one really, because last night it's seen nothing all day, it had been really quiet, and then finally at about seven o'clock, once it had gone dark, we started to see the odd little fish knocking the surface and starting to show um, down this end where I am. But I had two rods in the margin, the one rod out in the middle, which I put a little bit of bait around and fish in a solid bag too, and that's the one that went in the end. Um, which is funny really, because I think down here they say, shouldn't really spot, don't put out too much bait and the rod that I spotted around and put out bait on is the one that went and the ones in the margins being really stealthy and quiet um, I haven't had a bleep on so I've now moved both rods um, the left hand, that uh, right hand rod sorry out to the middle as well uh, also I've um, put a bit of bait out around that so I've got two rods now out in the middle 
on two separate spots, both where I've seen fish this morning actually, uh, which is really promising and there's bubbling up out there as well. So it's looking quite promising that I might get another bite in between filming. I've got to go around and do a bit of filming with a few of the other boys today. So uh, you never know, uh, first thing again in the morning maybe. Uh, I think we've got to be off by about eight o'clock in the morning, but we've got all day today and all night. So I'm pretty confident that someone else is gonna have some and uh, there's a few big fish in here that haven't been out for a while, so you never know your luck. Fingers crossed, um, we have another one to show you soon, and I'll go into a bit more detail about solid bags that I had that fish on and the bait that I'm using this session um, as I get time later on. So I'll catch up with you a little while, hopefully with a fish, if not going into a bit of detail about the solid bag setups. So good morning, uh, now pretty much packed away, just got the rods out, just got to bring them in now. Uh, it's been really quiet, um, quite surprising really, I probably got a bit cocky thinking that it's going to have another one. It looked really really good for the wind trickling in here now, it's more overcast, it's been raining, uh, everything seemed way better from when I had that fish yesterday. I've been seeing fish yesterday evening and it was all looking really really good. Uh, I started to get a couple of liners this morning on one rod, the rod I had the fish from again. So I thought it was going to happen, but sadly it's not always the case. Um, but we had that lovely 27 pounder yesterday, so for a first trip to a, a new lake, to get off the mark on the first trip is always good. So um, I've enjoyed coming down here, it's been great fun as I said before to see the Nutribates boys. And um, it's been a bit of a muddled blog probably this one by the time we've edited it all together. but. Um, it's sometimes how they go, I just like to show my fishing as it is. Um, but I've got a good trip planned uh, two weeks now, so uh, yeah, two weekends time. It's coming up quite quickly uh, off to Farlow's um, with one of the boys from here, so we're going to try and do some real good footage um, and film in there, so hopefully get some good stuff to show you there and a little bit of tips and tactics that, uh, of how we're going to approach it. I've never been there before, so again, another new lake. Um, heading into autumn, Farlow's has well, heading into winter now, I suppose, we're going to be the end of October. Farlow's has really good winter form, so uh, really excited about that one and hopefully get some of the uh, original old ones out of there. So thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this, um, even as muddled as it is. Um, click like and subscribe to catch the next upcoming videos, and I'll catch you in the next one.